Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I kind of love not knowing where the cards are going to go. I really do. Um, this is how it works, Leo. This is for Leo sun, moon, rising, or wherever Leo energy influences your chart. Because this is an energy reading, an oracle card reading that channels the energies. It's not a, um, it's not a horoscope. Um, we, I always create an extended reading beyond this energy reading here that sort of articulates, expands upon, and personalizes the energies that we pick up on in this reading. That link to the extended is down below, and it always includes a romance reading as well. A reading that focuses all the energies and puts it into romantic, sensual re relationship context. Um... I do not put dates on them anymore because I realize they don't matter. So um, you find them, it comes to you when it's supposed to. But I do make a new Leo video every single week. So if you would subscribe to the channel, you'll not only help the channel grow, thank you very much, but you'll also, um, you'll also get each new video fresh off the press, especially if you ring that bell and set notifications on. So um, turn those notifications on. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's go. Let's get into your reading. Hmm. Oh, okay. Things are already coming out. Very smooth. You're very certain of yourself. You're very, you're very self-assured. Um, I don't know that you're being listened to the way that you want to be, but it's almost like you're laughing it off. You're not letting it get to you. Nope, you're not, you're, not, you're not letting getting things get to you at all. This is the energy of six plus three equals nine. Something is coming to a head. It's almost like I, could, I get this vibe off of this card right now. You're sitting back saying, oh, ha, ha, told you so. It's almost like hashtag told you so. I swear to God, that's what I'm going to name your video. Ha, like told you so. That's what it is. You're, no, even if people are naysaying and they're like cutting you off or they're saying that you don't know what you're talking about, you're sitting back sort of on your throne with your legs crossed and your arms folded like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. We'll just wait. We'll just see. We're just going to, we're just going to, I'm just going to be over here being wrong, being wrong. <laughs> That's kind of like your energy right now. Um, a very, very self-assured, very confident. This hasn't worn into how you see you. There is like that irritation because on the outside of things, it's like people are not obeying you and you don't really love that. But the bottom line is you're very sure of what you feel and what you think. And it's almost like you see opportunities where other people can't. But this is also your crowning energy. Ooh, trust in the great mystery awakened. Six plus five. You're awoke. Leo, you is woke. You is wake wide awake. And it's almost like you understand that that's why other people can't see what you can see. You understand that people aren't can't go where you go. It is frustrating, but at the same time, not so frustrating because you're like, oh, eventually. Eventually, when things get shallow and things get explained slowly, everybody else will be able to understand what the heck I'm understanding right now. You're taking a lot of deep dives. You're understanding there's a lot of intuition going on. There's a lot of seeing beneath the surface and understanding what's going on underneath the surface. And it's like bringing it out. But at the same time, everybody else seems to be like still underwater looking for something when you're already up breathing and like, ah, hello, I'm telling you what's going on. It's up here. Hello. Uh, but you know what? If people don't want to know, they don't want to know. You know, there's this, this sense of you're awakened at that 11. You're at an 11, right? <laughs> you ever see a spinal tap? Uh, you're, at, you're up here at an 11 and everybody else is out there at a 9. It's like they're just catching up to where you are. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Cry about it? You're not. You're kind of just like sitting back and sitting pretty and being like, all right, well, I guess I'll do my thing while everybody else is doing their thing. But there's also a sense of, but they better give me credit for it. They better, they better acknowledge the fact that I told them so, okay? Because it's one thing to have to take your damn time to catch up to where I am. It's another thing to not give me the credit where, I, where it's due. And you do expect the credit. 
Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, open to infinite possibilities. I'm telling you, wide awake. This is Aquarian energy, seeing the truth in the situation and standing out in the public spotlight. Really being spotlighted and shining very, very bright, like open up to this infinite if infinite abundance, and that's why you see the things that you see, because it's like you're wide open. It's almost like you're seeing things from the perspective of the sun. You know, it's like you're looking down on this little, these little dark worlds, and you're seeing things not from the perspective of everything, like sort of, um, it's like everything is happening behind you and around you, and you're just the observer. If that makes any sense. Um, and then here we have a uh, turn knowledge into wisdom. Something is shady. Something is hidden. Something that you know that other people don't. And intel that you have, um, that, that you are privy to. Um, believing and trusting your intuition. This is Piscean energy. Howling at the moon. Why do, why do wolves howl at the moon? There is a sense of um, understanding and connectivity to that light in the dark, knowing that it matters more than just being a big rock in the sky, something illuminating this illumination in the darkness. Um, what is this secret? And it's not even like you're keeping it a secret. You've already exposed it. You've already told everybody. But it's like everybody else is still that. Look at this. It's almost like it's like you're the star shining, and then there's the moon, and it's like everybody else is still in the dark. Uh, embrace the in between, and that's what you're doing. This is Libra energy. It's being very economic with your energy, not wasting it on things like getting upset because nobody else has caught up to you, um, not wasting it on what might be or what could be or what should have been, just hanging out and chilling and actually being very, very good and feeling very, very confident in chilling. Like you're making chilling look good is what I'm saying. <laughs> you're totally okay to just be chilling. Be here now. More Libra energy. There's a lot of balance going on here. You could be dealing with a Libra too. This is beauty. Seeing the beauty in the small things. Uh, suckling on the nectar of life. There's some abundance that's come in for you. Life is very beautiful for you right now. Which is why I think you're okay with all of this naysaying going around or people not catching up to you because ultimately you're in a really good spot right now. Um, you're really comfortable settling in just fine amidst this chaos around you. Um, overcome any obstacle. You have a, a made, wait, hold on. You could have just come upon something that has basically ma almost made your world stop, as the, the rest of the world stops now anyway, right? right, right? But this is a sense of uh, just coming through something like being put into a state of stasis, but not like not having a choice. Um, and really being able to, through patience and just slowing things down, it's almost like you're able to overcome those things. This is Taurus energy. This is once again, self-confidence. This is beauty and luxury. So I do think you're surrounded by beautiful things. There's a sense of you even delivering those things to other people. Um, I just see such beauty around you. Opulence. Like think like almost like your abundance came in just before everything got blocked. So there is a sense of being able to trudge your way begrudgingly, trudge your way, but not begrudgingly. Like uh, it's not your choice to be trudging your way through this area of murkiness. But simultaneously, it's almost like you got the right perfumes. You're not smelling that fire swamp. You're not swelling, smelling the stink. You know, everybody else might be smelling. You're not smelling it. You're actually just taking in the freshness that almost like you have saved up. Hold on. Now is a lucky time. Nine plus four equals 13. 
three plus one equals four. So you're multiplying your abundance. And I don't know how you're doing it. It's almost like you're finding a way through this dangerous terrain and finding a way to make money, <laughs> um, make money and lead other people to make money through this really rugged terrain. Um, like, yeah, being, being like that ferryman that can take people across a really crazy ocean type of thing. So it's, it's, it's like somehow you're finding a way in this time of standing still, you found the secret path that leads to a multiplication of abundance. Now, this could just be you holding on to what you have. But there is luxury surrounding you. Um, time for a deep dive. Love and romance. And there is a center of beauty here as well. I, I, this is... This is I don't think that you saw what was coming toward you, or I don't think you saw this, this person coming toward you. It's almost like the person that you've been waiting for is finally showing up on your doorstep. So it's like all the rest of the abundance is dropping to the wayside. Or like this one opportunity that you've been waiting on or sitting on and, or that's been hidden from you and, and maybe caught in limbo is now breaking through at a time when everybody else is caught in limbo. You're not caught in limbo because this one breakthrough came through. And it's like your life is la vie en rose, romance and abundance and smell the sweet flowers. Well, everybody is like you don't don't see the fire swamp you think you're walking through like the black forest in Germany all lush and beautiful you know what I'm saying it's like it's really interesting clear out the clutter this is Cancerian energy but matured Cancerian energy of I want to be able to leap and jump between the water and the land so I have to let go of my old self and my own self my old sense of obligation it's like you're downsizing but because you're downsizing, it's almost like like that's where the luxury is coming from. It's luxury that you already have. Uh, picture yourself downside, like picture like a hoarder's house and then clearing out all that nastiness and all the stuff that they don't need and finding all this beautiful architecture underneath. Like that's what's going on. Like you're living, you're, you're, you thought you were living in a trash heap. But because you're literally clearing out all of that clutter and you're diving in to just getting rid of anything that you don't need, there is a sense, Leo, of all of a sudden you find you're living in the Taj Mahal. And you forgot about it because there was all this other chaos and, and basically garbage blocking that view and your understanding of where you were. But that's falling to the wayside now. That's drawing to a conclusion. Um, spirit has a plan. Seeing things from a higher perspective, meditation, um, also having gone through pain and suffering to become enlightened. This is three plus five, which is eight, which means there's destiny at play here. Spirit has set this timeline for you. He probably also set up, Spirit also probably set up all the distractions until you were ready to force them away by yourself. But there is definitely divine intervention and divine timing going on here. Synchronicities and planetary alignments that are making this the time when it's almost like the breeze comes in and blows the dust off and you find that you have all these like jewels all over the floor. Spirit has a plan. Once again, divine timing. And it doesn't just pick anybody. This card doesn't show up in just anybody's pile. There is a sense of you being selected or you being chosen. It's like you've been tapped as somebody significant to lead, to guide, to grow, and to show. And this is also antennae. Your antennae are connected to, like I said, the ether, accepting and receiving those messages that you can then translate. Spirit is using you. To help clear out the clutter of other people's minds. And that's why you're not intimidated by it. Because you're awakened enough to realize that um, it's clutter. And, and, and so you don't take it. How can you take it personally? It, it's not because of you. Um, and then this and that are true. Dolphin spirit. Sort of imbalanced energy. But just playing in the tides while everything else sorts itself out. 
let's flip this camera angle around. If you want to go to the um, extended reading right now, that link is in the description box below. If not, I'm about to review the cards. Hold on. Okay, Leo, here we go. Quick review. This is you feeling really at peace and really at home in this craziness. Why? Because, and just basically having fun, having fun skipping through the waves because there's really nothing you can do about, well, there is a lot that you can do about it and you're doing it. You're doing everything that you can do. It's almost like you're broadcasting spirit message and truth to everybody, clearing out all the, 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 the crud, right? If everybody else is still lost in the crud, not your fault, not your responsibility. And that's why you're not like you're seeing the beauty of the world because you're, you're, you, you have that awakened perspective. You, you're seeing the, the reality of the situation. You're seeing the truth. And so you're not afraid. You know that you can get through this because you see, remember what I said? You saw the path through. You are focused on this, like your world is beautiful right now because you're not believing all the craziness because you're not terrified or traumatized or because you have this image in your mind of the world that you refuse to give up but it's more than that it's actually seeing things for what they are instead of what they're um told to you as um and that sounds kind of crazy right now but You just have this deeper insight. You're, I see, I see literally you sitting back on this throne with your feet up, just sort of laughing at everybody else. Has a shipment of abundance come into you? Like, are you the one that's hoarding all the toilet paper, Leo? <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Um, but I don't think it is because I don't think that what you're hoarding is something tangible, though it would imply that you have a lot of resources at your fingertips. But I think that's because you see this untangible pathway and it's helping you make money. It's helping abundance come into you when other people are all blocked up. And it could just be because of perspective and how you view what you have. And feeling abundance, even if you don't have a lot of luxury or resources at all, there's a sense of, but I'm connected. I get it. I'm tapped in. And so I'm just going to keep broadcasting and I'm just going to keep speaking my truth. And if all these other fools around me don't want to listen, not my issue. I've done my part. So let's go over to the extended because I really want to dig deeper into sort of the tangible 3D variation of this reading. And then we have your romance reading as well. I will see you guys in the extended. Link is below. Bye, Leo.